step in a Morgan bar, served with a smile. Stop now. And she fell for him. She took him home to the family. Ellen Stewart and Kim, that's three. Told them the score. What an awful bore. Stop now. Then Jeff moved in and that was four. Stop starting now. out, starting out. You gotta have a go, so start right now. Starting out, starting out. You gotta make a move right now. Starting out, starting out. With unemployment and extra mouth, they moved down south. Starting out, they swapped their home, piled in the car. And now they've got a start anew. We work in school and friendships too. And who knows what they're gonna do. Starting out, starting out. You gotta have a go, so start right now. Starting out, starting out. You gotta make a move right now, starting out, starting out. Now mum and Jeff are settled down. Start now. The baby's crying, start now. but she'll grow up. She'll meet someone and fall in love. And then she'll have to start a new. Friendships work makes neighbours too. But that's the way life's planned for you. Starting out, starting out. You gotta have a go, so start right now. Starting out, starting out. You gotta make a move right now. Starting out, starting out. Morning. Where's John? I don't know. Uh, washing, I think. I don't expect to be long. Do you want to wait? Uh, uh, don't mind if I do. Coffee. You live here. What's your name? Pete. What's yours? Helen. Do you share then? Only when he's stuck. Well, where do you sleep? There. That's my bed you're on. I just lend him it sometimes. <laughs> Look. It's your place. I'm ever so sorry. Uh, last night, I stayed over. You see, we went to a party and... Uh... And, and you miss your bus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he borrow it, then? Sort of. I mean, often like. You'd better ask him that, hadn't you? Better ask me what? Uh, how often you borrow the flat, you con artist, you? Right, I confess it's not mine. But it's a nice place, though, eh? Sort of place I would have if I could have a place. I mean, if I could afford a place. I oh, don't believe a word of it. He couldn't even open himself a tin of baked beans. He'd be running home to his mummy's pot roast and telly after a week. Here, I've got them records. Yeah? It's great. Hey, you still on for this gig on Saturday? Oh, you bet. Saturday? We're going to the disco. I see. No, Helen, you don't see. Look, London was fixed up ages ago before I met you. But it's just the lads, you know. No, I don't. Look, Helen, for Christ. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, she don't mess about, does she? Real cracker, though. Yeah, and thanks a bundle for dropping me in, eh? You didn't have to go on like that about the flat being yours. Look, she takes everything dead serious, you know. What? Even you? Yeah. Well, 
You want to let her know where you're at. Look, look, keep the big fella out. She's off to college in a bit anyway. One of them, eh? Well, it's all right for so many. All the fun and no strings. I'll be back in a tip. So, now? Why'd you go off like that then, eh? Like what? Like that. Look, I'm not just something you can pick up and drop just like that. Who said you were, eh? And you didn't have to lie about the flat not being yours. And I thought you wouldn't have stayed otherwise. Well, I wouldn't. I was dead embarrassed. Look, I'm sorry. Come here. And another thing. Have you had other girls up there? Oh, no, I promise. He was just being you honest. Look, I'd say if I had, I've nothing to hide. Listen, why, why don't you come back and uh, hear some records, eh? I can't. I'm supposed to be at Cathy's. My mum might ring. You don't regret it, do you? What, last night? <laughs> of course not. Why do you? Did you really mean what you said? About never feeling that way about anyone before? What do you think? <laughs> Listen. You don't mind if I, I, I don't come back with you, do you? I, I would, no, but No, of course not. Will I see you tonight? Yeah, OK. I haven't got any money, though. You can borrow off me, Mum. Yeah, sure. I'll have some Friday. You could come round our place. Yeah, I will sometime, I promise. I'll uh, see you in the pub then about eight, OK? Yeah, bye. See you, I bet you'd care if Mum knew that you was on the pill. You give me those, Kim. No. Give me them and you'll go flying in that wall. No. Kim, no. No! No! Shut up, you little cow! Give me them! Hey, you're not No! No! What the hell is going on in here? You know, I've just got Poppy to sleep. It's her. Helen, it's not, it's her. She was sticking her nose in. Oh, I might. Well, tell her what into, well, then. you learn to control your tempers and keep your voices down? Now, I've got to go to work, so stop it. Well, I can't sleep with her row. If you went to bed at the proper time, you wouldn't have to go to bed now. You, come downstairs and do your work. And when Jeff comes back, you can tell him he can get his own tea ready. I'm 
fed up with being the only one that makes any effort round here. Come on, you. See? Come on. Yeah, well, I'm going out anyway. Get in there and get on with your homework. Don't. Yes, you do. Stop messing and let her get on with her own work. in the morning. Night, Stuart. Hi, Mum. Hi. Hi, I said hi. Oh, do you live here too, then? Bye. What's the matter with her, then? Nothing. I just think she's expecting you back for tea, that's all. Well, yeah, I've had a couple of pints, yeah. I am working 12 hours a day now, you know. I mean, I am entitled to a couple of pints, right? Hey, listen, she can't blame me because she goes off at that club every night and never sees me, can she? I mean, it's her idea, isn't it? Don't tell me. I don't care. And what does that mean? Nothing. It's your life. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Yeah, you're right. It is my life, and I'm going to do exactly what I want with it. Oh, yes. Have you got that, you two? Hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to have another couple of pints, right? <laughs> yeah. I hate this house. Sometimes we stay at his friend's place, and other times at Cathy's. Well, if it's that serious, don't you think we should meet him? Well, not if he doesn't want to. <laughs> why doesn't he? Well, I don't know. Anyway, why should he? It's nobody else's business. Look, I'm not attacking you. I'm just sick of everyone poking their noses in. <laughs> we are a family, Helen. I just want to meet the bloke you're going out with, and I'm sure Jeff does too. Well, why don't you come with and hold my hand, then? Don't be silly. Anyway, you wouldn't like him. Why? <laughs> Look, I brought Jeff home, didn't I? I could have said, blow you lot, and done what I wanted. It wouldn't have made any difference, even if we'd all hated him. Oh, yes, it would. To me, it would. It helps you to see someone in a different light when it's in your own home. Well, you wouldn't let John stay here. I mean, with me. Would you? Well, at some stage. I don't suppose you'd want that, though, would you? Well, what if we got a flat? With Cathy? No, with John. I'd want to meet him first. Look, I'm sick of this. I just want to be left alone. Can't you understand? No, you can't. No. No, I can't. Look, she's 17, Jeff. She's a kid, Vera. Well, that's how old I was when I met her dad. Yeah, look what happened to you. 
You got pregnant and had to get married. I'm telling you, she's throwing away her whole future if she gets tied down now. Future? What future? Besides, she might learn from it. The point is, Vera, she's been going behind our backs. Oh, rubbish. I suppose you used to take your man along with you, did you? She's a girl. Oh, really? I hadn't <coughs> noticed. Look, listen. I'm telling you because I think you've a right to know. I don't want you putting your foot in it, upsetting it. She's very touchy about it. Look, I just think it's wrong. Well, I think you're a blooming hypocrite. If it's wrong for her, then it was wrong for you and me. And that's something you didn't say at the time. All right. Well, she's your daughter. You let her do exactly what she wants. But if it goes wrong, don't come back to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your sympathy and understanding. Hey. Well, don't wait for me then, will you? Tonight. Oh, no, I'm going to wait for her. I want to see him. He could be a drunk or a pervert or anything. Don't be ridiculous. All oh, right. Oh. And what time do you call this then, madam? Hey, where is he? I want to see him. Has he run off? I said, where is he? Get off me! Have you been waiting to spy on me? Look, I said, where is he? He's not there. And how do you get home then? I walked. What, at two o'clock in the morning? Is that what sort of a fellow is? that all he cares about you? Jeff. Is it? Jeff. Where are you going? If you go out that door, you never come back. Is that understood? Don't worry, I won't. Helen! Helen! Look, look. Jeff's just concerned about you, that's all. I'm not having my boyfriend insulted by anyone. Well, just sit down. Sit down and let's talk about it sensibly. No. Well, put your back down and get back to your room. No. You can't make me. I said get back to your room. No, it's nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. You're not my real dad. treated like a kid. They kept going on about you, so I said I was going. But I'd come round to your place. I wasn't sure of the number. Anyway, I went round to Cathy's. <sighs> Just as well, me dad would better fit. Well, he's a bit old-fashioned, like. You're gonna stay at Cath's? No, I can't. It's too small. Look, I want to get away, John. Can't we go somewhere else? You could go on that scheme, you said. Just till we got married. <laughs> And it's all a bit sudden, you know. Well, I know. We might as well do it now as later. We don't have to get engaged first. I just want to be with you. Oh, hey. Hey, they'll blow over. I mean, they haven't chucked you out or anything yet, have they? Well, we don't want to rush into anything. What, what do you mean? I mean, I, I can't just... <sighs> I mean, I, I can just about get by living at home. Oh, but at least it's better than being on the streets. Well, we could get a flat. Oh, you try. Well, the council will help us. Oh, you're joking. You have to be evicted to get a place off them. Well, they just tell you to go home. Well, what are we going to do, then? <sighs> we 
Listen, why don't you give your mum a ring, eh? Well, she'd have got over it by now. Anyway, what's she angry about? That's not the point. Well, what is? I just thought you wanted to be with me. I do, but... Well, you might go off to college. I might get a job somewhere else. In fact, I'm supposed to be seeing a guy in about half an hour. Do you want you coming in or what? Yeah, I'll be over in a tick. Yeah, OK. So who's she, then? Who? Oh, uh, she's a friend of Pete. She's giving us a lift down. To see about the job. Well, you never told me before. I must have forgot. I can't remember everything, can I? Well, aren't I more important? Yes, of course you are. Look, I'll catch up with you later, OK? Is that right? Oh, no, I can't. I'll have to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. And you try and get everything sorted out before then, OK? And don't worry. Look, if you leave me now, I never want to see you again. Well, don't be daft. I mean it, I don't. It's you saying it, not me. I'll see you tomorrow. No, you won't. All right, I won't. That's the third time you've looked at your watch in the last five minutes. She won't phone, you know. We knew his name, at least. I think Kathy's mum might know. Leave it, Vera, leave it. She'll come home if she wants to. Let her take the consequences for once. Well, you said that she couldn't. She knew what I meant. I just thought, I can play me records upstairs now, can't I? And, uh, could Tracy stay the night of the weekend if you've a spare bed? Not exactly the soul of tact, are you, kid? Well, she was always bossing me about. They don't seem to have any feelings, do they? Mum, she's there. Where? Helen. She's lying on the bed. I think she's asleep. She's got all her clothes on. She must have come back earlier. Shall, shall we do you think we ought to... Well, yes, leave it to me. She must have seen it here. Now, wait there. What's wrong? Oh, she's fine. She's fast asleep. She must have been out all night. Oh, yeah, she's okay. okay. Honestly, now stop worrying. Oh, here's a letter. Dear Mum, Jeff Kim Stewart, I'm very sorry for all the trouble I've had. Oh, my God. Helen! 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 Oh, Helen! Look, Helen! A full bottle Helen. of pills. Helen. She must have taken an overdose. Then why is the bottle full? The pills. Look. They're still in the bottle, you silly little... Helen! Vera, Helen. stop it. She probably had one for a headache, and that's all. Oh, Helen. Oh. For a minute, I thought... Yes. I know exactly what you thought. Now, come on. Out, the pair of you. Are you all right? Oh, my love. Do you want to tell me about it? Did you have a quarrel? Oh, don't worry. You'll make it up, you see. I won't. I never want to see him again. I hate him. Oh, that'll pass, my love. Why, he might be good mates one day. Or you might even marry him. Or you might cross the road and never even notice him. Come on, eh? This film on telly looks good. Why don't you put your dressing gown on and come and have a bit of supper, eh? Come on. Mum? 